Medusa fought me for the bands She a star and I'm a fan yeah. Talk that bitch, I get the bands What's good everybody? I'm Brandon. Today I'm about to do another video from Watch Mojo. This one right here is titled Top 10 Worst Things Goku Has Done. Y'all requested it, don't trick me not got y'all. This video is 11 minutes long and 11 seconds. 11, 11. This video is good fucking luck. Whoever requested this video, I love you. This is 11, 11. 11, 11 is good luck. 11, 11 means you're opening the gates and you're starting a spiritual awakening. That's why it's two over here, two over here. It's gates. They open. And you're stepping through to a spiritual awakening. That's what 1111 means. But let me stop. Y'all ain't ready for all that. Listen, before I hop into this video, leave a comment down below. Let me know what y'all want to see me react to next. We're going to see the worst things Goku has done. Goku is a great person. Like, come on. We all know he has good intentions. But we all do evil things here and there. That's life. You got good and bad. You got ugly. You got beautiful. It is what it is. I'm ready to hop into this video though, man. We all love Dragon Ball Z. Shout out Watch Mojo. We all love Watch Mojo's channel as well. Well, not all y'all. I love their channel. I think they, they personally do a good job. Let's hop on into it. You know, upon closer inspection, maybe Vegeta is the better man. Welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst things Goku has done. Right, I jump. fell asleep halfway through. I guess it's more fun to be in a real fight than watch a fake one. <laughs> This was your son's moment to shine! Before we begin, we Go publish new content active? every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our <sighs> latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the times throughout the Dragon Ball franchise where Goku wasn't exactly the beacon of hope we've come to know him to be. Be prepared for spoilers down the line, as well as seeing your childhood hero in a not-so-positive light. Well, then you want to drive the tractor for me while I eat? Okay, sure! <laughs> Number 10, offering up Bulma to old Kai. What the How fuck? How about we get you a date with a real live Earth woman? Mm. This nigga trying to pimp out Is Bulma? Is a good kisser? Yeah, of course! Despite his frail figure, the old Kai certainly had plenty of powerful wisdom to impart to both Goku and Gohan. I hope I'm not old and creepy. So stubborn about it. I In might order be. to ensure that Gohan I love the bitches, bro. He needed for the I might be old and creepy. I'm gonna try my Goku best not to. Goku decided to make a deal with the old geezer by promising he could kiss Bulma once the battle was won. Hey, what about Bulma? She'd do it. Do you think she's a good kisser? <laughs> what? Why are you asking me? I don't want any part of this. Needless to say, Vegeta was none too happy about of course. this. If that wasn't enough, the only reason Goku didn't offer up Chi Chi was because he said she wasn't pretty enough. Oh, oh Goku! Shady. No blows all around. <laughs> Don't you have any sense at all? Let him kiss your woman! But she's not near as pretty as Bulma is, see? Number nine, this creating niggas... Broly by crying too much. Creating Broly by crying too much. You would have thought throughout the history of the this like a brawly hair is fire as fuck. Prolonged exposure to crying could create an ungodly warrior of myth. They were born on the same day. <laughs> Apparently they didn't. And as a result of Goku's endless wailing, he ended up inadvertently turning an innocent child into the legendary Super Saiyan, leading to a lot of people's shit to get wrecked. Look, he's making Paragus' son cry. In hindsight, maybe we should thank Goku for helping to create one of the most entertaining villains in the whole franchise. So he created Brawly because he was crying too much. Number eight, okay. never kissed his wife. You never kissed Chi Chi. <laughs> Goku just beat them cheeks. We all know that everyone. Nutter decided her and said, "Give me Gohan and Goten, bitch. You don't Goku get no and intimacy." Chi -Chi do love each other, <laughs> but really, man. Not even a peck, That's given how hilarious. he had no idea what a kiss was when he saw Trunks lock lips with Mai, we're led to believe that in spite of having two kids with his wife, he's never actually gone out of his way to kiss her. Kakarot, you've never kissed someone? Huh? No, of course not. Why? You're married and have children. Yeah, duh, but what's that have to do with kissing? My nigga, he was just beating them oh, cheeks. No Say, don't no, kiss no, me, no, bitch. Me. Is that what <laughs> people do? The same, unfortunately, <laughs> does not apply to all the times that he's accidentally hit her. Oh, relax, Chi Chi. 
<laughs> My nigga don't kiss her, but he be beat, girl. Damn. Number seven, letting Freezer reach 100%. I sense his desperation. He's scared that I'm going to attack before he finishes. By far, Goku's most fatal flaw is his inability to let a fight become one-sided. Even right? when he puts others in danger. A all the fucking time. During his final battle against Frieza, who by this he does this all the time. Millions and even killed the likes of Vegeta and Krillin. You would have thought that after finally finding the strength to finish off this murderous creature, Goku would have pummeled him into red meats the first chance he got. But no, he waited for Frieza to reach his full strength so they could be on even footing. Goku, why aren't you attacking Frieza? Goku always does something like this, bro. His maximum. This could be your last chance. I want him to reach his maximum. I want to fight him when he's at his best. Might we add, this was while the planet around them was minutes away from exploding. Number six, letting Vegeta live. Stop. We happy no. we let Vegeta live. We love Vegeta. Don't do it. When it comes to letting his enemies go free, Goku has a bad track record of that too. <laughs> yeah, while it certainly right. paints him as a sympathetic glad. figure, it also comes across as downright idiotic. While nowadays we all know the Prince of Saiyans as a rather chill guy, back when Goku let him go scot-free, he just tried to blow up the planet. We we have got to stop this. The evolution of Vegeta is so crazy. Righteously pissed by the way he just grew and changed. He caused, Grillin was all too happy to land the finishing blow himself, only for our hero to tell him to call it off, potentially dooming everyone in the process. Goku, I sure hope you're right about all of this. I hate to think of what might happen if he comes back to try this again. Huh? The fact he showed the same mercy to Frieza just adds to the aggravation. I gave you some of my own energy. He had to kill you him though. You should be able to move. Go and do as you like with so it. Stupid. Number five, inappropriate behavior. <laughs> when he was a kid. Shame on you. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> I was just checking to see if you had a tail. <laughs> Given the fact that he was an alien kid who really doesn't seem to have an interest in the female anatomy, one could somewhat forgive Goku's seemingly lewd actions through the early days of Dragon Ball. That shit was hilarious, curiosity. bro. <laughs> yeah, thought so. You're a girl, all right. <laughs> he tried to see if she had a penis. That being said, trying to feel up Bulma's crotch because he's so curious about their lack of male genitalia is still awkward as hell to watch. Oh, he's fully shit! Matured in his adulthood either, evidenced from when he accidentally dropped in on Bulma naked. Look, I wouldn't come here just to see your boobies. Yours are too saggy now. <laughs> Number four, blowing up King Kai's planet. But he hey. did it to save the Earth, though. You put up a good fight, Gohan. I'm proud of you. One of the best what? fucking sagas ever. Daddy? The Cell Goku's Saga was so lit. To sacrifice himself to save the Earth from Cell's explosion is one of his most heroic and heartfelt moments. The look he shares with Gohan, that knowing smile. We'd wager more than a few fans cried at this selfless display. Probably. Which begs the question of why he decided to teleport all the way over to King Kai's planet and take him along for the ride. Sorry guys, this is the only place I could think to bring him. Well, you could have called first. The depths of space, <laughs> Are you asteroids and You really killed planets? them all, bro. Like, like that's crazy. Like a time chamber? Anything more than the home of a god. Just to rub salt in the wounds, he's failed to revive King Kai later down the line like he promised. He never revived him? King Kai, he left before I could finish. I'll get you next time, buddy. Goku, you moron! Number three, <laughs> abandoning his family. I'll be back soon, okay? Yeah, right. <laughs> he may love them to pieces, but he sure doesn't think twice about skipping down on Man. them. Man. Where do we start with this one? The fact that he could have used instant transmission to get himself back to Earth right after learning it instead of taking the long way back, asking to not be brought back to life after Sal was defeated, missing the birth and early years of his second child, 
Not to mention that time he decided to go off and train Oob just after Kid Boo was defeated. <laughs> Goku don't Goku give a fuck. Issues. But we don't understand. You're leaving for good? Well, sort of. Sort of? <laughs> Not again. Now, Goku don't give a the fuck. Of power. <laughs> of that i'm thinking of the tournament yes i would like to watch the tournament very much all right that's the spirit guys let's make it the best one ever it's settled yes in doing so he may have ended up inadvertently saving all the universes from being erased by the omni king subsequently granting all life in the multiverse a second chance at happiness however there is no way goku would have had the foresight for this all he wanted was to fight strong opponents from wow. other universes, no matter the risk. Your naivety may be an even greater threat to this universe than Grand Zeno himself. Right. Despite constant warnings from Beerus, he started a domino effect that could have ended literally everything. All of the defeated universes will be promptly wiped from existence. Luckily That's for him, insane. Android 17 knows how to camp out on a battlefield. Number one, giving Sal oh, a catch. This was so hey. stupid. Remember <laughs> this? Enough that he would send his own son to fight the ultimate. This nigga gave him a sense of being, bro. Is that he practically sentenced Gohan to death by deciding to give Cell an all healing bean. Thank you, Goku. I will take this bean without hesitation. He's so. <laughs> While Coco. Super Saiyan 2 managed to put an end to Cell's evil once and for all, it was only due to Android 16's timely intervention mm. and death acting as the trigger. If that hadn't happened, Cell and his juniors would have slaughtered everybody easily. Not your finest moment there, Goku. Love you anyway, though. You guys, I'm sorry. I just didn't think it could end up this way. Goku, 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 we all love you, but yes, you are extremely naive. Great video. Shout out to Watch Mojo for making this video. Um, yeah, he's done some stupid stuff. I mean, we all do stupid stuff, but sheesh. I forgot he gave that nigga Cell a sense of being after they fought. Why would you do that? Anyway, great video. Let me know what y'all thought down in the comments. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. See y'all next time. Peace.